Hello and welcome all. My name is Khanam and this is my 23rd video in React series. In our previous video, we have seen how to use material icons in our project. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use React icons inside our project. I'll just come to my file here. I'll be cleaning entire thing. I'll just come here. I'll be deleting this. I'll just delete this because it's confusing. I'll just save this. Now if I just refresh this one. Now I will be having this output. Now in this project we are going to insert, we are going to import our react icons. Just come to Google and just write here react icons and you will be having this link. Okay, just click on this first link, react icons link. Inside this home we are having about react icons, how to install this one, npm install react icons hyphen hyphen save. Okay, you have to install this in your terminal and then you can use that one. Okay, I will just copy this one, you can see here copy to clipboard. I will just come to my code, I will just open vs code terminal and now I will be pasting that link here, whatever I copied from there I will just paste that one here. You can see here I have this npm install react icons hyphen hyphen save. I will just click on enter and it will get installed. Okay till then I will just come to this website and here if you see we have to import like this. Whichever icons you need you just have to type here. I will just search for plus. Now you will see here I will be getting all the icons related to plus here. Now if you see here inside this particular section if I come to bootstrap icons you can see here all the icons will be starting from B. Okay, all the icons will be starting from B and you have to import like this. Whatever icon name you will be having that one and last I will be having this BS. Okay, bootstrap icons. If I just come to further here, you can see I will be having last as FI. If I come to font awesome, last I will be having FA. Based on this name I have to import like this. Okay, if I just come to game icons. You can see here I am having this GI. Okay, if you select this one, you have to import like this. If you select font awesome icons inside this one, you have to import like this. Okay, you just have to write slash FA. Now, if you want all the icons from all the sections, then you just have to search here. I will just search for plus. Okay, this time I will just select for camera. I will just write camera. Now you can see here from all the sections I will be getting from AI which means that this one and from bootstrap I got and from flat colors I got okay from every component from every section I will be getting the icons and based on your requirement you just have to select this one okay if I just select here FC now FC belongs to this one fat color icons if I just come here you can see here FC is here fat color icons so I will be selecting that one I will just come back I will just select this one FC camera. Now you can see copied FC camera to clipboard. You just have to click on this and it, this name will be copied. Okay, I'll just close this one. Now on top, I'm just going to, I'll just remove this. Now here I'll be pasting that. Here I'll just paste that icon name. I'll just come to this FC. Okay, that will be inside my flat color icons. I'll just click on this. And here I'll be having how to import this one. I'll just copy this one. And below this, I'll just paste that one. Below this, I will be pasting that one. I will just copy this name. I will remove from here and instead of this icon name, I will be pasting that one. Okay, now to use this one, we have to create. Now this is our component. Okay, now this will be my custom element. I will just copy this one. And below this container, below this third container, 1, 2, 3. Here I will just paste that one. I will be opening this one. I will just close like this. I will save this. Now if I come to my project, you can see here this purple color here, okay, this which means that my icon color I got here. Now this icons will be in SVG format, okay, you can give class name to this icons and you can style that one, okay, if I just give here class name and here I will just give here icons. Now I will be importing index.css file here and I will just style that one, I will just import my index.css, import index.css now inside index.css i'll just copy this icon from here i'll just copy this one inside index.css i'll be pasting that icons for this i'll just give color color i'll be giving red and also i'll increase the font size font size i'll just give it 3 rem 
I'll save this. Now if I just come here and if I refresh this, you can see I have this color is not been changed because by default I am having this purple color. So that will be applied and but my font size has been increased. Now if I just give here border, border 1 pixel, solid, black, I will save this. Now you can see here I will be getting this border, okay. This complete, this icon is taking complete 100% of the width, okay. Which means that it is block level element, okay. This is how we are going to use react icons. If I just come to this font awesome icons, here you can see here I am having this font awesome icons. And from here, if I want to select this apple, I'll just click on this and it will be copied. Okay, I'll just copy this one. Okay, before that, I'll just paste that name here. I'll just come to index.js. And here, I'll be inside app.js, I'm having the code. I'll just come here. I'll be pasting that name here. I'll just come here. I'll copy this link from here. We have to import like this. And here, I'll be importing that one. And instead of this icon name, I'll just copy this one. And here I'll be pasting that icon name. Okay, now this is my custom element. I'll copy this and at the end I'll be pasting that one. Okay, here I'll just paste that one. I'll save this. Now if I show you the output, I'll just refresh once. Okay, now you can see I'm having this app icon here. I'll just give the same class name for this. I'll just copy this one. And here I will be pasting that one. I will save this. Now if I just refresh this, you can see the color is also been applied because for this icon, I don't have any default color. So this red color will be applied because inside index.css, I have given the color as red. Okay, by default, if you are having any color and any items, then we can't change the color. Okay, that is the color given to that particular icon. Okay, if it is black color, then we can give the color and we can change the color. We can give the font size. Okay, we can give any styles we want. Okay, this is how we are going to use react icons inside our project. Now in our next tutorial, we are going to make complete project on whatever we have learned till now. That is about components, how, how to use material UI icons, react icons. We are going to combine all the components and we are just going to pass that components inside one parent component that is app.js and that app.js we will be rendering inside index.js. Now that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.